Right guys, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. Jeez, I, I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe we are indeed in our sixth annual installment of Rugby Player Reacts, the NFL's Top 100 Players. Today, uh, we focus on number 85 on the list, Laremi Tunzel, Tackle for the Texans. Tunzel, Tackle for the Texans. And if that is a name you don't recognize, I feel for you. It's a name I recognize. I can't really tell you too much about him. Um, But, you know, he must have been on the list before. In fact, it reminds me of Hansel and Gretel for some reason. Tunzel, tun, tun. Rapunzel. Rapunzel, that's what it reminds me of. Han Hansel, Rapunzel, and Gretel. Mixed into one. Loremi Tunzel. All right, let's get into it. First of all, this is the, if you are here for the first time, for whatever reason, this is the, the fashion that we're doing things. We're looking at stats, we're looking at the video, and then we'll finish it off with placing this player in a rugby team. A fantasy rugby team, you could say. Loremi Tunzel. Laremi Alexander Tunzel, six foot five, three hundred and thirteen pounds. Well, I can tell you right now, he's going to be a forward. Plays for the Texans. Uh, born August second, nineteen ninety four. He's twenty eight years of age. Uh, drafted with the Dolphins in the first round of the twenty sixteen draft, with thirteenth overall pick. He's played a total of ninety four career games, fifty at Houston and 44 at Miami during his first three seasons. Played 17 games last year, played 1,063 offensive snaps, which was 100%. He was selected in the Pro Bowl last year. 2021, he missed out. 2020 and 2019 selected. So he's a three-time Pro Bowler out of seven seasons. Not bad. Not bad at all. He is a tackle. It looks as if he plays left tackle for the most part, although he's not listed as a left tackle last year i feel like he's probably gone from left to right he may have even played guard at some point either way let's get into it my players who's the best up top in the nfl right now they left tackle <laughs> <laughs> hell no his name is jordan mylata <laughs> absolutely and if jordan mylata is on this list this year it's going to be one of the most special reactions I've ever done because I reacted to that motherfucker as he was coming through the International Player Pathway Program at the IMG Academy in 2018. Five years later, he just secured his, his second bag, $64 million, the highest paid Australian, actually no, Ben Simmons is the highest paid Australian athlete or maybe Daniel Ricciardo, but either way, he's up there and uh, I just can't wait to see him. If he's on this list, finally... Deserves it. It'll be amazing. Either way, let's get into it. So when I got to Ole Miss as a freshman, I was a walk-on. Didn't know what to expect. He was like the big brother of the team. I don't think you could find anybody to say a bad. This is some classic footage. Word about him. But then watching what he's able to do on the field, like the way his feet can move and being that size, moving like a ballerina out there, you know, shutting guys down off the edge. Um... You know, it's like an art form watching him work. It was close to just being starstruck when you see. All right, so those, you know, those metal braces that they have on their yep. knees, right? Are they, is there any particular level of, are there any particular conditions as to what they can wear? Because looking at that, I, I, I look at that and I think, right, is that going to, okay, if the knee is about to hyperextend, is that contraption looking like something from a Saw movie, is that actually going to stop the knee from hyperextending? Because if that's the case, what an amazing piece of equipment to prevent injuries um, to these big guys. But also, part of me thinks, is that fair? You know, it's like an art form watching him work. It was close to just being starstruck when you see a guy like that. After seven years in the NFL, Laramie Tunsil's number of... Seven years in the NFL and he's only 28? Well, he's 28 and 363 days. But Myers has Still. only grown. Laramie Tunsil, uh, one of my favorite guys to watch. Uh, very, very good player. You know, plays with great leverage, great hands. He has great feet. His feet like they're skimming the ground. He got uh, keep the feet like a cat, I say. Laramie Tunsil's the top tackle in the NFL. Just by the way, uh, he keeps guys... Is it hot in there, mate? Or is, or is it just me? Off the quarterbacks. He doesn't really give too much intel pre-snap and then he's on you quick as soon as that ball actually come to think of it who is he blocking for who is the quarterback for the texans the texans quarterback is i should know this i do know this 
Uh, it was that guy who got suspended for having relations with sex workers or something like that. His name is... Oh, it's escaping me. Who plays quarterback for the Texans? I'm sure we'll see it. All snap. He's able to kind of understand the way the defensive end is going to attack and he shuts that down quickly. It's like going against a freaking computer just because of how robotic he is. Tunsil's one of the best tackles in the league. He's just a big guy that can move like a small guy. He's just consistent in his set. He makes it really difficult for you to go out there and have success against him. Tunsil allowed only one sack during the 2022 season. It looks like a guy mills. Does that make sense? Uh, Bro. You know, one, one of the... One of the, the things that I always notice with these bigger guys is how much definition do they have on their arms, right? They're 300 pounds, but how much definition do they have? Which means, you know, how much body fat are they holding at that weight? And I just saw his arms just then, and he is not fat by any means. That's scary. You saw Big Tunsil out there leading the way, one of the premier left tackles in the game. Leading the way, all right. Linemen who stay on their blocks as long as Tunsil. <laughs> oh, oh, horrible. Not only that, you don't see too many tackles that pull in an offensive scheme that, that are pulling and leading for the running back. Uh, Speaking of speed, five-two-three for the forty-yard dash. Well, he certainly translates that to the game. Front side play. Seventy-eight, Laramie Tunsil. He's going to lead up there on Jonathan Abram. Look at that. He's just going to clear it out. Tunsil was a big reason running back Damian Pierce had a breakout rookie season. Nice. I love the fact of what Damian Pierce just did. Gave the ball to Laramie Tunsil for him. To Absolutely, spike. bro. That relationship between running back and tackle. I mean, the relationship between quarterback and tackle is, is huge. But running back and tackle, if you've got that guy in front of you, and he does it time and time again, and... Uh, you know, it must be quite the experience running behind someone like that. Tunsil nearly got in the end zone himself. Oh! Make the connection to Laramie. That would have been nice. While he didn't make that catch, this past offseason, Tunsil grabbed the biggest yearly contract for an offensive lineman in NFL history. Hang on. Didn't we just hear that before? Since <laughs> All right, guys, that brings us to the end of another video. It was my absolute pleasure hosting you. Six foot five, 313 pounds. Well, he's certainly a forward. Um, look, if he ran a 4.6, I'd put him in the back line. Why not? But he doesn't. He runs a 5.2.3. A 5.2.3, five, five, two, five, two, was it? Either way. Um, I'm going to put him in the forwards, no doubt. He's not quite tall enough to be a lock, and he's just a little bit too tall to be a prop. So it's not going to be easy to place him. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him in at number eight. Can you imagine it? Six foot five, 140 kilograms. Number eight. Take it off the back of the scrum. Um, he could run to the left or right. He could possibly draw in like two or three defenders, right? You're going to need two or three guys to take this guy down and then do a little pop pass out to his back line. Um, he could take it himself. Um, he, could be, he could be a threat in the line out, you know, put him in at lock. He's six foot five. He's got the height. I don't know who's going to be able to lift him in the line out. Yeah, I'm going to put him in at number eight. I don't think he's mobile enough. I don't think he's quite mobile enough to be a flanker, but I think he'd be a good number eight, which is basically at the back of the scrum, and you're going to be running with the ball just that little bit more often than the likes of a prop at the front of the scrum. Uh, but that would be my choice. So let me know what, what you think down in the comment section below. And with that in mind, we are on to the next video. Zadarius Smith, always a pleasure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.